Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the SimGuy EW300, all my thoughts and opinions on them, and if I think they're worth picking up over everything else. So let's just get started. My head hurts every time I try to speak to you. So to start, these IEMs do have interchangeable ear tips, similar to the Hi-Dyes M3S. These have interchangeable filter tips alongside silicone dampening rings that you can put inside of those filters. So for my personal use, I use the gold filter tips with the purple silicone dampening rings and then none of the foam that comes in the box. That is my personal, what I use for this review. So all my thoughts and opinions are gonna be on this specific setup. If you were curious on how the other setups sound, I can give it a try and leave a pin comment comment down below for people who want to know how the other combos sound. But let's just get right into it. So to start, here are a bunch of songs that I personally use as my testing requirements. These songs needed to be either very vocal based or very instrumental based. So we chose a couple of rock songs, a couple of EDM songs, and a couple of rap songs, just to kind of give a general idea of the realm of music that most people would be listening to with these kind of IEMs. These are on the budget end with a retail price of 70 to $80. I forgot the exact price, but for that price, I really can't plane. We're going to go on to the sound profile, which I found to be very pleasing and a big upgrade from the EW200s, which was my introduction into the SimGot line. The EW200s, the one thing I didn't like about them is their lack of clarity, which is why I recommend the Kiwi Ears Cadenzas at that $40 price point. The EW300 seemed to be a full step up from that. Their high-end reproduction is a lot more detailed than EW200s. And songs like Of Second and Sebring by Of Mice and Men, this is a very heavy instrumental based song with a lot of screamy vocals and you're able to pretty much hear the vocals clear as day. But on the EW200s, it wasn't doing the same thing. It was very lacking in that high-end reproduction. So vocals would get blended in with the instruments, especially going into the mids where you're getting a lot of the body of the vocal. There was no clarity or detail in that with EW200s. With the EW300s, that's just completely removed. They do fall in a little bit more of a V-shape compared to the 300s. They're a lot more heavy on the bass end and a lot more heavy on the high end, but that does leave a lot of room for perfection in the middle where I feel like the low mids weren't super undetailed, but they weren't as clear as the next step up from that, which is the Supermix 4s, which uses a quad dynamic driver. It uses four different drivers and it just sounds incredible for that price. Going through all the songs, the low end was very heavy and punchy the kicks in metal were just punchy enough to the point where i felt like where i felt them being played but they weren't overpowering because you know in metal the kicks are very fast paced the vocals were clear through all the genres even the messy ones like sea girl by lee nia which is a japanese kind of pop hyper pop track it is a very messy track to listen to and when you're listening back to it there's a lot of sounds and these iams were able to produce every frequency with no issue and i had no complaints listening to these styles of genres the mids as i Said before were kind of lacking when compared to the Supermix 4s or the High Dyes M3S, but that's a given. These are kind of like a step down from the Supermix 4s, which are just an overall super high end IEM. And you're also comparing a quad dynamic driver to a triple dynamic driver, which makes the EW200s a little bit worse in those mid end reproductions, but it makes up for it with having really nice, punchy low end and a really nice, crisp and bright high end without being piercing. Comfort is one of the biggest things for me when it comes to IEMs. I cannot stand IEMs that are uncomfortable. I can't stand IEMs that I can't wear for several, several, several hours on end because I spend a lot of time doing music production, doing video editing and gaming. And the EW200 and 300s kind of nailed that style where they feel very comfortable in ear. They're not too heavy, but the EW300s did feel lighter in ear than EW200s, where the EW200s with a couple of head shakes felt like they were gonna come out every now and then, but they never actually came out. And the EW300s were the exact same in that regard. The EW300s do have the exact same design as the previous generation, where it's a flat kind of outside casing with a little ball that actually goes in your ear. This has been one of my favorite designs next to the cadenzas, which just feel incredible in ear. And you, you kind of don't feel them, even though the EW300s are made of metal. So if you are going into a cold environment and putting them on for the first time, they are gonna be a little bit cold. That's like using a magnesium mouse. You'll get used to it eventually. On to gaming. That's where the EW line kind of falls off for me. I was never able to use the EW200s for gaming and the EW300s just didn't make it any better. The gaming performance just feels lackluster. I'm feeling like I can't position people to where I normally am, especially when coming from the Supermix 4s, which are super detailed and spatial surroundings, where for gaming, they sound incredible. Incredible. But for the EW300s, you're losing a lot of that 
detail for gaming especially because a lot of stuff happens in the mids and because the mids feel like they've been yanked out of the 300s and it's a very v-shaped style of im for gaming they just didn't work out for me and i personally could not use them for gaming i would end up using my other iems like my super mix 4s which is kind of the main iems ever since i reviewed them they're like the go-to for me they're the best for gaming and for music production and music listening but the w 300s just fall flat for gaming and i just can't see myself recommending them for gaming if if you're looking for good iems for both gaming and casual music listening and finally when it comes to mixing and mastering music in the iems i personally wasn't able to do it again because i feel like they were too heavy in the low ends too heavy in the high ends but for casual listening i had no complaints but getting a song to sound radio ready or getting a song to sound at a professional level i would like my iems to be a little bit more balanced overall or have a lot more detail in these sections like the lows the mids and the highs and then the small subsections within those i would like more detail than that which ew300s do not give me but at that $80 price point, I really can't complain because the Moondrop Maze couldn't do it either. The Truth Ear Hexes can't do it either. They're good for the price, but they're not the absolute best for music mastering and production, which is why I wouldn't recommend them for that. But if you're looking for just some nice, casual, good music listening IEMs, especially for on the go with their DSP, then I would definitely recommend the EW300s for that specific reason. But if you're looking at picking them up for gaming or for music production or for mixing and mastering or any kind of pro audio work, I would definitely try and stray away from that and I would save up a little bit more money and go pick up the em6ls or the supermix 4s which should have a much better sound reproduction and is the ones that i would actually use for making music at any kind of professional level but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this video leave a like if you did subscribe if you want to see more content like this comment what your thoughts are on iems and if you actually do enjoy iems over the standard gaming headphone or even audiophile headphone and other than that i'll see you guys in the next one you say you want it oh baby girl you say you want it Baby, come get it, oh, baby, yeah, you gotta get it Hey, baby, girl, drop all these problems Look at everyone who's trying harder I don't know if I should try harder Cause you're the only one I want Only one I want Only one I want Yeah, you're the only one